Metro Exodus. If you're sitting on the fence not sure whether to spend the money and buy this game, well, I hope this video helps. I had a good, hard look at it, and there is spoilers in this video, so uh, be warned. If you've played Metro, you know, 2033, Last Light, and I think it was Metro Redux, then you've got a basic idea of what's coming, or do you? Because this game is a lot different, and with some of the uh, very recognisable features from the last uh, couple of games, it is a real step away from where it was. A uh, big thank you to 5 Star Games and NVIDIA for making this one possible, and for your chance to win a key to this game, I'm giving mine away, um, well, I hope you enjoy. Stick around to the end, and I'll tell you how to win one. Straight off the bat, I will be super honest and say I really enjoyed this game. But moreover, this game reinvigorated my feelings about the current state of gaming. It's been a long time since we've seen a game that's been worked on hard, not rushed, and not shoved into the battle royale genre, where it's just an oversaturated market and quite boring. It is so refreshing to have a game that makes you think three or four steps ahead and you really have to think that far ahead before you get into what you can conceive as a fight. I love that you've got to make your own bullets, you've got to pump up this pneumatic gun and if you forget to do so, you're in a world of trouble. I love that you've got to pump up the little power nodule you've got for your lights, for your night vision because if that goes out and you're in a dark tunnel, you will know what fear is. And this game that gave me that feeling, a terrifying feeling. Now, I'll be honest, I'm arachnophobic. Can't deal with spiders. And, uh, spoiler alert, there is one section in this game that made me stand up and move away from my computer several times over because I couldn't get through it. Now, after I did finish that set, it made me realise how grateful I was that this game was around right now. Because there are bugger all games available that can make you feel something like that. My hair was on end, I had goosebumps everywhere, it was terrifying, there were sounds all around me. And they have worked hard to make this happen, not some cheap rushed game. It is outstanding. Well, let's have a look at a couple of other things. The story itself, it was engaging, uh, and I found a real love-hate relationship with a couple of the characters. On the downside, in the cutscenes where they're going back and forth and talking to each other, there is a kind of an annoying gap sometimes between each character's lines. I don't know what that is. It can't be fixed now, but you can completely live with it. And the storyline is good. It's not a direct draw from anything else. And uh, as always, Artyom, he doesn't say much, but he makes up for it with action. Now, the graphics themselves, you can see, they're tidy and neat. This is running on uh, 2080 with everything on Ultra. So that's ray tracing and DLSS. Now I had none of the other issues that uh, other people played. I did have one small issue, but I gave my C drive a bit of a clean, and that pulled everything together for me nicely. Keep in mind, my computer is last gen, i7-4790 and 16 gig of DDR3 RAM, but it is running at 2400 Hz. And it's also running, the game is running off an M.2 drive. So that's the specs on how it looks here. Of course, it will play differently on any other computer. If, and here's some advice. If you don't have the kind of pig that'll run it flat out, don't try and run it flat out. A lot of people complain the graphics are blah, 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 in whatever game they're playing. Yeah, don't push them so hard, and I think you'll be okay. Now, I've been playing this game since about three or four days after it came out. And because I don't get to play it every day because I've got to work, I do maybe an hour and a half, uh, maybe two hours at a time, and uh, I thought I was near the end of it, but it turns out I'm really not. This game has a good bit of length uh, for a story mode game, which is really good, considering a few games that come out the last few years that have just been short and really left you wanting more. Now, I haven't got to the end of the game yet, so I can't really even give a full, full overview about everything, but I can only tell you what I've seen so far. Well, I could talk about this game for... I don't know, forever, I think. There's just so many features that I really enjoyed it. The lighting is bang on. It's so super eerie when you're underground. The The time they've spent on the audio 
But for surround sound, in surround sound, you've got to play it that way. Don't do it on a set of speakers unless you've got two of them behind you. Creepy crawlies moving around everywhere and you can hear them. And, oh, it's just terrifying. Things come out of nowhere and attack you. Isn't it funny in the old ones in Metro, you didn't want to go above the ground? Um, now, you don't want to go underneath it because that's when everything just goes absolutely haywire. In summary, this game really did bring it to life for me. I can't wait for literally any next single player game. It's pushed me to now move away from the same old things I've been doing and uh, really, really invest time and effort into getting emotionally connected to maybe even some of the older games that I'd completely forgotten about. This game is well, well worth the money you would spend on it. Now, bringing you to that, I've got a key. Keys to give away. Thank you, NVIDIA, ANZ, you the best. All I want you to do is put in the comments below here on YouTube what you will be looking forward to the most in this Metro. What are you looking forward to about it? Put it in the comments below. We'll pick someone at random. I'll contact you through here on YouTube and, uh, and we'll get it sorted. Much love. Thanks for watching. And I um, certainly go. you guys have a good day. Much love.